It is Wednesday, April the 5th, 2023, and here we are in the Block neighborhood. That's B double L O K U, the U being silent. The Block neighborhood of Tirana. Most of these are old communist era apartments. There's a slick new one there. And we're going to go into my place. First thing you notice is it's triple locked. This one, a bolt, and this baby up here. And that's also double locked. So it's very secure. I have no idea why. I've never seen anyone, never seen anything strange, but I don't go out late in the evening. Let's start with the good part. Toilet's completely refurbished and has everything in it, including a clothes washer, which is critical. Bedroom is just a bedroom. Look at those floors. Holy cow, this is all handcrafted stuff. And I guess as soon as the landlord has money, they'll rip all this out and put something fancy in. Communist era furniture, really nicely done, built to last. Now, this place is built like a prison. Even these doors here are just totally solid. Everything's concrete. You can't hear a thing. So that's the bathroom and the bedroom. Here is the living area, which is uh, in disarray because there's really only one plug that works, and that's typical for a developing country. Now, this one has the TV and everything in there. TV does not speak English, no international channels, but of course you'd have to go over, walk over this all the time. So I bring my own extension cord wherever I go, and I've got my phone, the lamp, and uh, that's all plugged in and ready to go. There's a heater too. And this is, this is a very comfortable but of course the uh, electrical socket situation is pretty limited. Now this is the exciting part. You can hear all sorts of gyrations and pumping and water flowing. And if you, if you turn on the water, this pump comes on with a burst of violence. <laughs> and uh, it's pretty, pretty damn funny. So whenever the t water goes anywhere, that pump goes on. Except if, if there would be an issue with the water supply, which there was only once. So this kitchen has no water supply in it. So if you want to cook, and I do, it's pretty difficult. You have to carry things back and forth and cut them on the table and such. But it, it works just fine. Then, uh, so the back side is pretty dingy, but the front side's pretty cool because this is the entertainment uh, hotspot of, of Tirana, really. As far as I know, I haven't ventured that far out of the neighborhood, but downtown is nondescript, and this is where all the you know, bars and restaurants are, and there's tons of them. Most of them are empty uh, a good part of the time. But you can see there are some very nice places here, newer places and some older ones. So it's kind of a in transition. Right down there on the corner where you see the blinking lights is where uh, I drink coffee every morning, Moncherry. Moncherry is some sort of local chain that's everywhere. So that pretty well does it. I think the uh, overall the place is fine, it's cheap. That's the source of heating because it's still pretty damn cold overnight. It's like down to two, three. And uh, that's what you get for about, uh, on a daily basis, it's about 20 bucks a day, so 600 a month, which is pretty much dirt cheap in, uh, in Tirana. You know, the interest is, is going astronomically and the number of foreigners moving in here is, is 
is really a, a lot. Uh, I think this was this was originally that was a, that was the balcony. That's obvious. I think these were separate rooms because they all have robust locks on them. So one, two, and the bedroom as it is today was the uh, third room and a shared bathroom. And this was the kitchen, which I've heard of uh, quite often. I, I've read about that in Albania. So there you go. There's five minutes on an apartment in Tirana, Albania. <laughs>